Hi everyone. Today I have Frank's um, Breckwell brand pellet stove controller on my workbench. Uh, Frank sent this one to me because it had a couple of broken switches. The auger switch was broken and so was the on off switch. Uh, unfortunately, as I discussed with Frank beforehand, I don't have access to the original toggle switches for the on off switch. So I replaced it with something that will work just as well but it's got a different form factor to it so you can see it there uh, it's got a tall toggle versus the long wide toggle otherwise it function, functions exactly the same at the same time i had to replace the auger switch the little push button switch because it was completely broken off uh, frank had also sent me all the bits and pieces so I was able to reassemble the low BCDE max switch for them. So I've got it all put back together and I'm at a point where I can uh, run my final test on it. Uh, I'll note one thing that this controller has a hot rod heater element to ignite the fire connected to it. So I've added my brown wire to my tester, my Pell test, which means that my igniter will come on. I should be able to control the combustion fan, uh, the auger motor itself, and the convection room fan. I should be able to change the setting of it from low to max. Um, one thing, though, is the combustion fan does come on, and it stays on pretty well the whole time, so there's no real controlling of it. So let me go ahead and turn this on, and we'll see a couple lights come on. There we are. The convection room fan comes on, the one highlighted in red over here, and the combustion fan. So the controller's got that under control. And I have it on high right now, so if I go to, to off, basically, manual, uh, it goes to low mode. And I can toggle the manual feed switch, and that'll cause my yellow light to come on. There it is. So manually, I can turn the controller on. I can turn the auger on and get it to feed pellets. So that's all functional. The next step is to go ahead and press the auger button. I have it in low mode so my convection room light won't change but what will happen is that the igniter will come on and so will the auger motor. But then the auger motor will shut off immediately and the timer has to happen, has to go through a timer cycle before it starts cycling it through. So let me go ahead and turn that on. I'll press the button now. I'll back up a little bit. There we go. Pressing. There we go. On release, the igniter came on. And we saw that momentarily the auger ran for a little bit. So if we leave it this way for a minute or two, we'll see that the auger will cycle through automatically on and off. So let's just wait for that. At the same time, I'll mention that I already pre-measured the the uh, igniter cycle, there it is, there's the auger went on. I already pre-measured the um, uh, igniter cycle and it, it's about nine and a half minutes. So after nine and a half minutes, the igniter itself will go off and the furnace will continue running on its own. So there's the auger one more time. Now, the next step is to cycle through the low BCDE positions. positions. That will make the intensity of this light go brighter, brighter, brighter. And at the same time, when I go to max, for example, with the knob, the control knob, uh, my auger will stay on longer. So let's go through that. You'll see B, there you go, brighter, C, D, and E, bright as possible. And we'll notice from now on that the auger will stay on a little bit longer. So it's delivering more pellets into the fire pit. Let's wait for that to come back on. There it is, and it's on for a little bit longer. It doesn't shut off right away. So if I go back to the low position, one, two, three, four, back to the low, we'll see the yellow indicator for the auger come on and then off relatively quickly. There it is. So there it is. Uh, this controller, as far as I'm concerned, is fully functional. Uh, it's not a perfect setup because the switch I installed is not an exact, exact uh, replacement. It is electrically the same, but not mechanically the same. So, Frank, I want to thank you very much for sending your controller to me for repairs. I appreciate that very much. And uh, I'll be shipping that back to you shortly. Thanks. Bye-bye.